It's arguably the greatest achievement in motorsport, the iconic triple crown. Many have tried and most have failed to reach the pinnacle of the motorsport mountain. So who has? Who has come close and still has a chance to etch their names into racing history? We tell you all this and more in this GP Fans special. Motorsports Triple Crown involves winning the three most iconic events in world motorsport. In order to be given the title, a driver must win the Monaco Grand Prix in F1, the Indy 500 in IndyCar, and the Le Mans 24-hour race in the World Endurance Championship. Winning even just one of these events would be enough for any driver, but many have attempted to try and win all three. Graham Hill is the only driver to have reached the summit of this motorsport mountain. The British driver won the Monaco Grand Prix five times in his career, three times with BRM in 63, 64 and 65, and twice with Lotus in 1968 and 69. After his first three wins in the Principality, Hill attempted to win the Indy 500 in 1966 as somewhat of a last-minute call-up. Volt Hansgen of the Mekon Racing Team sadly was killed in a crash at Le Mans just a month before the Indy 500 that year, and Hill was given the nod to replace him. So late was Hill's addition to the card that he wasn't even on the official entry list. But despite the lack of preparation, Hill took the second leg of the Triple Crown at Indianapolis Motor Speedway that year. Finally came the test at Le Mans, and a victory at the tenth time of asking in 1972. Paired with Henri Pascarolo, who was angry at driving with Hill, believing the British driver's best days were well behind him, Hill and his Matra Simca team won the event with an 11 lap lead and completing an unbelievable trio of victories. Alonso won the Monaco Grand Prix in 2006 with Renault and in 2007 with McLaren. During his break from Formula 1, he also won the 24-hour Le Mans event with Toyota twice in a row. He did that in 2018 and 2019 together with Sebastian Boemi and Kazuki Nakajima on his way to the title in the FIA World Endurance Championship. The Spaniard has made attempts to try to take the Triple Crown by also participating in the Indy 500. He made his IndyCar debut in 2017 and even led part of the race at the legendary Speedway. Unfortunately, the Honda engine in his McLaren Andretti car packed in with 21 laps to go. In 2019, he failed to qualify after preparation problems at McLaren and in 2020, he crossed the line of the Indy 500 in 21st. Montoya won the Indy 500 before coming to F1. The Colombian won the race in the year 2000 with Chip Ganassi racing and 15 years later with Team Penske. In 2001, he made his debut in Grand Prix racing with Williams and two years later he triumphed on the streets of Monaco. He has competed in the 24-hour Le Mans race three times, but each time in the LMP2 class and not the fastest cars in the FIA World Endurance Championship. In 2021, he actually came first in the Pro-Am category in the LMP2 class, together with Ben Hanley and Henrik Hedman in a Dragon Speed Oreca car. But unfortunately, that doesn't actually count towards a Triple Crown. In order to complete the feat, Montoya will have to secure a seat in the Hypercar class at the event. Like Montoya, Villeneuve also won the Indy 500 before coming to F1. He did that in 1995 with Team Green, which we now know as Andretti Autosport. And in the same year, he also won the IndyCar title. And again, like Montoya, when Villeneuve made his switch to F1, he did so by making his debut with a Williams. The Canadian never actually won the Monaco Grand Prix, but he did win a Drivers' World Championship in F1, and that is seen as a possible alternative for the Triple Crown instead of winning the race in Monte Carlo, with the French-Canadian taking the Drivers' World Championship in 1997. After F1, Villeneuve went to sports cars and became a factory driver at Peugeot. He finished second in the Le Mans 24-hour event in 2008 alongside Marc Genet and Nicolas Minassian, finishing on the same lap as the winning Audi of Ronaldo Capello, Tom Christensen and Alan McNish. That was the last time that Villeneuve ever competed in the French endurance race, and it is unlikely, of course, that he will be completing the Triple Crown in his racing career. So who, if anyone, will complete 
a triple crown again in motorsport. Are there any drivers on the grid that you currently think alongside Fernando Alonso have a chance of being able to do so? Let us know in the comments section below. GPFans.com and GPFans Global for all the latest news in Formula One.